Mic check, one, two, three. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. It's so great to be back. Over the years, Android has grown into the most popular OS in the world. There are three big themes we're focused on. First, enabling you to do more with your phone at the center. Second, extending beyond the phone to all the forms of computing people love, like watches, tablets, and more. And third, making all your devices work better together to solve problems and help you throughout your day. Let's zoom into wearables and large screens and talk about how we're making it easier for you to build these apps. Since the developer preview, we've added and improved a number of components, such as navigation, scaling lazy lists, input and gesture support, and much, much more. This year, we are going big on large screens and tablets. With Android, you can build a single app that runs on a foldable, a tablet, and even on Chrome OS. In Q1, we saw active users approaching 270 million on these devices. So there's a great opportunity to connect with people using larger screens. Now, we kind of heard from you that it's kind of a pain point to do iterative UI changes with Jetpack Compose. And at all costs, avoid doing full builds. So, something I'm excited to show you that solves this problem is Live Edit. Every developer I talk to says they never want to go back to XML once they've tried Compose. We're building on this growth and just released the beta of Compose 1.2 which has features such as downloadable fonts, nested scrolling interrupt, and more. The fundamental thesis of the Android Privacy Sandbox is that protecting user privacy and enabling a healthy mobile ecosystem are not a zero-sum game, and that the path forward is innovation. The team behind Google Maps for Android improved the app's startup time by 30% after introducing baseline profiles, a new way to improve app launch and hot code path performance. We've been hard at work on building out a software stack to enable both platform-driven and developer-driven multi-device experiences, leveraging ultra-wideband, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. Developers can use the Health Services API to collect real-time sensor data from Wear OS in a power-efficient way. Once collected, you can use Health Connect to store and share the data with other apps. Another feature that is coming to Android 13 as part of the camera API is HDR video. The APIs will provide apps with the ability to preview and capture through a common API that will allow them to use front and rear camera. The features will be available through both Camera 2 and Camera X. But we know that we're not done. And in the last several months, we focused on adding features to support your most advanced use cases and making Compose as powerful as the view system, but way easier. Are you still here? Why are you still here? Go watch the talks.